this is the shin bone off of a cow. This is my last bit of corian that is too small to make a guitar nut out of. So I've been doing some research and apparently you can render these into good nut material all by yourself. So this is the experiment of the day. So I have got about six and a half inches there. So, a saddle on an acoustic guitar is about four and a half inches, four and a half, and that leaves me, oh, about two inches for nuts, which should be pretty good. So I'm going to cut about two inches off of this thing. I've never done this before, but I've just been reading and researching. So we'll see how this works out. An odd shaped clamp. So the shin bone of a cow, apparently, is the strongest bone. And I'm just going to use the jigsaw for this. Well, that worked all right. Not exactly a straight cut, but you can see the marrow there. So all this outside is good for making nuts. Now, probably wouldn't hurt to cut that lengthwise either. plain water in here and some folks say you can put um, soap or ammonia or something in there but if you use just plain water what you end up with is soup broth kind of let that simmer for at a low boil for about three hours. We're just coming up on a boil now. We'll start turning it down because we just want to keep it on a low boil. We want to get all the fat and grease out of it. And this is apparently the first step. Well, it's been just about three hours. Ooh. Nice soup stock. Now we've got to try to get the marrow out of it. And get it dried out. Get all the residue off of it. That comes out like no problem at all. So, I'll just get some paper towel. We'll set it on there.
see how easy this comes off. Not too bad, so we'll just scrape that clean. We'll scrape it clean and let it dry out really well. Well, there we go. It was pretty easy. Scraped it and brushed it. Got pretty much all of it out. So we're going to leave it overnight to dry. At least overnight. Alright folks. We've got the soft tissue pretty much boiled off. And now we're going to defat it. And we're going to cut it up a little bit first. bandsaw would be handy. Now we're just going to cut it into a few little sections. All the soft materials out of it. Now we got to get the we got to get the fat out of it. So I've cut them all into uh, quarters approximately. I'm going to put in the, I don't have a glass jar. So I got a tin one. And we are going to soak them in naphtha, Coleman fuel. We we'll prefer a sealed glass jar, but this should work. So they're covered with naphtha, and now the long wait. This apparently can take up to three weeks with a few changes of the naphtha in it. So we're going to let that sit and every couple of days we're going to check it and once it starts staying clear then uh, we've got the bones totally defatted. Okay, it's been about a week. It's soaking in naphtha. Actually, the naphtha looks fairly clean. This should make some nice. Nut and saddle blanks. And you can see the naphtha is still nice and clear. Well, we don't have a, a use for them so far, so I don't know if you'll be able to see the bottom of the can. And a little bit of sediment in there, but pretty clean. So, like I said, we don't need them right away, so we'll just let them soak. From what I read on the internet, it takes about three weeks, so at least we can see them now a little bit better. Oh. There are probably too many I need for bridge saddles, but I can cut them into nut saddles too later. Always cut them down smaller, but can't add them on later. Cool. So, so far the uh, experiment is pretty successful. Well, I've completely forgot about these. Busy with other things, you know. Let me see, I need a pair of pliers here. So these have been sitting probably six weeks in the naphtha. So I think it's about time to get them out of there and let them dry out. So we'll see if we can fish them out. I would 
think that they are pretty much defatted. Ready for making into saddles of nuts. I'm just going to get them out of here and let them sit on the paper for a while until they're needed. Well, until they're dried out well. Oh, can I get any fingers in there? There's too much sitting in the bottom of it. Well, I guess we'll let them dry out for a little while and then we'll put them away. Should be able to get a bunch out of that. Okay. I guess the next time you see those or will be the next time I need one. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you found this interesting.